I'm constantly asked about where the next great rocker is going to come from. Where are they going to come from? Who's going to replace all these guys, all our heroes? The bands they're playing the music of, KISS, ACDC, all these bands, they're going away. They're 70 years old. Their day's over. They're on life support right now. And some ways more ways than one, unfortunately. So you know what I'm saying? Now we have a tier of bands under them. We got the bands that are in their 30s that are doing unbelievable business in, in, in arenas, Avenged Sevenfold, all these bands. Great, but below them, there's got to be another wave. So they're way back there because of their age and their experience. And I just hope they keep working towards their craft, fine tuning it, perfecting it, and have a real commitment to it because we need a band like this and anybody in this age group listening to rock music, supporting rock music, playing rock music, writing rock music. The fact that they want to make rock music, that they're at this point writing their own rock music, and that they are playing very well some of the greatest rock music ever created in their covers is really a very cool thing. To do an ACDC song like that and do it so cool with the bagpipes and his vocal was really, really very cool. Vincenzo's voice on that was unbelievable. The thing with them is they've got their, their foot firmly planted in a history that goes back way before they were even, you know, I mean, you know, they're playing music that came out in the 70s as, as their covers, so that's really cool to see them have that connection, but then also apply that music, obviously having an influence on the originals that they're making as well. I said something on this stage tonight that I was very sincere about. I think that it's very impressive that they've been able to play as well as they play, obviously put a lot of work into what they're doing, have the ability to do shows like this in a facility like this. Bands don't have resources like this. Nobody does. You know, listen, when you're, I can't even remember when I was 13, but when you're 13, you have a million things that you could be doing. You know, you have so many interests. Most kids, most kids at 13, all they want to do is this. I have a 13 year old. Yes, that's all they want to do. They're 13 years old, but the basis of what they're doing right now and uh, what they've been able to build and establish here in their home area, is pretty remarkable. Was this a great night or what? When, when you have people try to tell you that rock and roll is dead, just tell them to come out to this great venue and see a great young band of 13-year-old kids called V-Square, man. This was awesome. And um, I'll tell you what, we've got this little That Metal Show guitar to award to you guys. The world's greatest 13-year-old rockers right here, Vittorio and Vincenzo. V-Squared, ladies and gentlemen, there you go. You're even going to play it. <laughs> Thanks so much, Eddie. You know, we heard that you really like Kiss. Uh, Kiss was my first concert. I was talking about that earlier. Well, it's Chen's. How about we play our favorite Kiss song on this awesome guitar? That sounds great. Are you guys up for it? Considering what they're doing and that they've been able to write original music at that age is incredible. Uh, obviously, as they gain more life experience, it'll get better as far as original material is concerned. So I think it's great what they're doing, but it's encouraging, it's exciting, and I wish them the best. Wanna rock and roll all night Nobody ever began